this is not going on. You get better for a little while. I don't want to kill you. Oh god, okay, you can run away. I'm not push it down. You get better for a while and then you just get worse. It's like it happens every time I play this game. So hopefully, that was just a small hiccup. That wasn't the actual downward spiral yet. Alright. <sighs> Let's continue. Oh god, <laughs> just after I say they're not an issue. So this is probably gonna be... Oh god, I need to lob this over. No, no. This is gonna be like my... Oh, ground fight. This is gonna be my last... Like, thing I'll show the entire playthrough of. After this, I'm just gonna have like a epic, well, not epic, but there we go. But a montage sort of, of of fails and deaths and everything until I finally get somewhere. Because I know I'm not gonna just get this in a full playthrough. Be really lucky. Oh god, no! Oh, I almost threw that at the shopkeeper accidentally. May as well get those bombs. Yeah, you haven't seen yet, but shopkeepers get really mad if you do anything in their shop at all. If you take like a bomb in there, they'll be like terrorist. If you whip them, if you, if you throw something at them, if you take their stuff outside of the shop, if you destroy any of their blocks on the shop, they'll attack you and they have a shotgun. And they go insane, basically. Hmm. Yeah, not gonna make that throw ever. So, um, oh, and bats won't track you when you're in the water, <laughs> as you can see. So it's gonna be interesting. Okay. Don't die, don't die. Okay, did it. Two levels without the secret. Ooh, teleporter. Do I want it? Uh, shouldn't say no. Oh yeah. By the way, I have the spectacles. I haven't mentioned that. So that's why I could see that in the wall. But yeah, I'm not gonna use teleporter. I should demo it. It'll just do that. It's quite. You can do it upwards too, but I'm not gonna do that because I might do it here. Yeah. It'll put you into walls if you're not careful. And you'll die. The game is pretty mean. Okay, I can use this. Let's do an epic throw. There we go. <laughs> They're gonna get exploded. Perfect. Okay. Pay attention now. 
It's not usually this hard to actually find it. I have, like, in all my practice attempts before, it was usually always at the start or in a really easy to find place. I don't think I ever missed it once. But now, I'm having huge problems finding it. There's more on the left side of the screen, I'm pretty sure. And just bomb here. Oh god. No 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 no. God. No, not here. I don't know. It's not on the top row. And oh, almost killed you. Wait, it was pretty. Ah, finally found it. But should I explore the rest of the level? I don't know. There it is. <laughs> so as you can see, that's what we get. I may as well just. Yeah, I guess I'll explore a little bit. Okay, it will. It might. But yeah, we'll be fine. I trust myself. Just not gonna use the teleporter riskily. Okay, I'm not gonna face those frogs in here. I'm running out of time, so. There we go. And teleport back over here. And off we go. So, it revealed a door, and there we <laughs> Adventure, adventure in... Oh, and, yeah, as opposed to the first world, it couldn't appear in the first level. This one, it can't appear in the last level of the world, because this counts as a level of the world, so... If it was in the last level, then it would... Okay, I would definitely want this. Then it would, like, over go into world 3 and that would be really strange. Okay, so, I think it's about time to reveal my tactic. No, actually, not quite. Let's see if this, if this goes my way. So yeah, just because the jetpack is like the best item in the game. Basically, lets you do whatever you want. You can go wherever. You can use it to avoid full damage and everything. It's, it's awesome. Also cost the most out of all the items. Yeah, <laughs> less afraid of blue, blue frogs now. Oh, so yeah. Damn, I don't get to reveal my super awesome. No, not that way. My strategy for the black market. Mm, do I want anything here? Probably want bombs. That's about it. But I shall reveal that later. Should I ever have a chance? So here's the ank. This is the item we need from World 2. Cost 50k. May as well buy it, don't want to make the shopkeepers angry. Because if you make any of them angry, all of them are angry. They all want to kill you. And they'll also add in a guard at the, at the end of each level. So you'll have to kill him as well to get to to the end of the level. So, do I want the shotgun? No, I don't have enough money. <laughs> yeah, I'm broke now. Do I want to... I may as well take this with me. Actually, I need bombs. My plan was to get a lot of bombs, but I can't now. Because, yeah, every block in the City of Gold is gold, basically. So, the more bombs, the more I can get from it. That's my plan anyway. That's all I know about City of Gold, that it's all entirely made of gold. So, well, hey, World 3, let's not screw up now. I'm feeling pretty good. I've got two nice items. Jetpack mainly is important. 
And if we ever run into Carly in World 3, then that's really good because we can sacrifice every single one of these Yetis now that we have the jetpack, which is freaking awesome. Which you might see later if I ever do get to sacrifice them. What we actually get from Carly for sacrificing. Okay, let's just leave that there. Okay, and I have the compass, apparently. Didn't even realize before. But that'll tell me where the exit is, so I know it's down there. Where I left the jetpack. I mean, not jetpack, teleporter. just saw like the only trap in this world which is those little bouncy plates. You can you, they're like slightly hidden like this one up here. But you can see it pretty clearly if you're cautious. So unless I want to check off what is it here? Just a chest. Do I want it? Not really. And yeah, um you can fall to your death in, in this world. So that's why um, cape and jetpack are really, really useful in this world. Because you just... Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. But I think I'm just going to keep my whip for now. I don't think I need that teleporter. At least for this world. So I'll just ditch it. I know you can't actually hurt Eddie's with the whip. You can only bounce on the heads or do other to them. I think throwing items work? I'm not sure. I think they should. Oh, gotta watch out for that. Let's demo this. Throwing items? Oops. <laughs> yeah, that works. Almost failed that. Yeah, you have limited fuel in the jetpack. I can demo that. It'll run out pretty quickly. And it just recharges every time you land. So I think that's all I need from this place. Haven't seen the actual thing ring here yet. The um, item you need from World 3. Hopefully I find it. God. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it there. If I have, then... I'm so disappointed with myself. <laughs> oh god. Because it only, it only appears in one level if you miss it, then that's it. You miss out. Hmm. It's all in vain if I've missed it. <laughs> so I doubt myself. So I only get one more of this world. <laughs> so if I haven't missed it. I think I did miss it actually. Damn. I'm not sure. That would really suck, because No, it's here! Oh! Thank you. Bejeebus. 
so I haven't even said what the ank does yet. Um, yeah, that item I paid 50k for, that actually resurrects you if you die, so... Let's kill myself. Yep. If you use it in here, it'll teleport you inside here, and that'll end the level. Excellent. <laughs> I've never actually done that before. But now I have the uh, headset, which we'll use in this world to unlock another thing. The last thing. And hopefully, <laughs> if all goes well, finally get there. But we're gonna have to pick a fight with a mummy pretty soon. Yeah, and this world is extremely deadly. It's got like the arrow traps from Mold 1, plus a bunch of other traps. You can't mess around. Ah. Plus some bouncing. This, yeah, that dude down there. Yeah, here we go. They'll jump around, they're like caveman, so they jump around. And they throw you if they hit you. Yeah, which I just demo. <laughs> I haven't found a mummy yet. I hope that's not a bad thing. There should be a mummy in level 1. Uh, I don't think it is. <laughs> no, it's not. No mummy. Double check. Those will do a lot of damage over here, like 40 again, so pretty much de death no matter what. Uh, let's see if I can find a mummy somewhere, because I will need to kill it. Well, I never expected this to happen. It's like, I thought I'd- oh, there's the actual thing I need to get in. Let's just throw you away. Alright, so this door, it's got like a little hole there that you need to put something in. But you actually need the, um, the weapon the mummy has that it gives you. It's like this. Um, stuff and yeah, that'll go in that hole nicely. <laughs> and ooh, I don't want to mess around with that. And it'll say uh, it goes in, but you can't. The door still won't open, which means you actually need this headset for it to work. And yeah. Ah sh. Yeah, nice trap. <laughs> if it didn't have a bummy screw. Come on. Yep, well, that was that. I don't get to go to the city of the world. No mummy spawned in the first level. So that's the only level I'm pretty sure that if the mummy spawns it'll actually give you that stuff. And it usually spawns. But today... I may as well just try to do something stupid now. Come on, what are you doing? Are you bugged out? Hey, it's bugged out. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Come over here. Oh, I 
Okay, and I have like full damage. No, oh, I'm gonna need money to wake up. So, that was the end of episode number one, the talking episode. Should have a pretty good idea now, so. The next episode will be just me dying a lot. <laughs> Catch you then.